Hey guys, I wanna show you an almost 100% successful way of completing one of the most difficult steps during the hardcore Easter egg on World War II zombies. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with this step and get you into some really high rounds, but I have been working out a method to make it where most things won't go wrong and you can get this step first try. The step I'm talking about for the hardcore Easter egg is upgrading all of the wonder weapons for the Tesla gun and one of the variants is just a total pain in the butt and that's the step associated with the Reaper variant. There's a step where you have to get four bomber zombies down into the pack a bench without them exploding or dying and then you have to kill them in a certain way and it can be very tricky. After seeing a few YouTube videos and their suggestions I've been working out what I think is the best method and doing trial and error and I really feel like this is going to make you the most successful at this step. And yes, there's lots of methods for doing this, but I feel like this is going to eliminate a lot of problems or things that could go wrong. And definitely use whatever method you guys think is best and make comments down below if you think you have a better strategy. But for my strategy, I recommend using the Shell Shock Special. I tested the other specials and for me, they did not work as well. They may work well for you guys, but I'll show you what happened in my games. It really seems like if you want to go in and do the hardcore Easter egg that you have to focus your entire game around just this one gun and this variant because it's so difficult to get. So first thing is do not open the salt mine doors and do not build the Tesla gun first. What you want to do is go to round 11. On round 11 you're gonna get a whistling zombie. You need to take him down to pack a punch and have him open up that panel and get that battery. You do not need to turn on pack a punch at all to get this battery or to charge the battery, but you're gonna have it on at that time probably anyways. It's an easy step. Just pick the battery up, spin around and place it in this holder right here. Another advisable strategy is to save at least one zombie with this whistling zombie at the end of round 11. If you've got somebody in the game helping you, that's even better. Have them hold the zombie so you can do this step. So at this point, you're gonna have the lab and the morgue open and you're gonna have two of those switches flipped that's gonna allow you to open the salt mine. So now you're ready to open the doors and deal with these bomber zombies. Make sure you have a full meter for your special, which is gonna be the shell shock. And you're gonna walk down just a little bit. When you have them in sight, go ahead and trigger it with the left and right bumper. What it's gonna do is freeze them in place while that meter is running down. It's best to use a gun that has some kind of sight. What you're doing is shooting that head of the zombie that's attached to the back of that zombie. Once you shoot that head, they drop the bomb. And it's real easy to just see them from a distance and shoot the head. Wasn't difficult to do. I did it in two games back to back. I had no problems whatsoever. But let me stop here and show you guys one of the other specials that you can use. Now, I didn't have any luck with it, but other people have. I kept accidentally shooting the bomb and exploding the bomb and killing all of the zombies in the tunnel. And this is using the camouflage special. So while your meter's running, the zombies don't see you, but they keep moving. And it can be difficult to shoot the head on the zombies that are on their back without shooting the bomb. So here I am in camouflage, they don't see me. I'm doing a pretty good job shooting the head of the zombie that's on the back, except for that one. And I really thought that, you know, I just shot the head, but I guess one little bullet snuck over and hit that bomb and it killed most of them, and you need all four of these to stay alive to do this step. Now, someone with really good aim could probably do better, but again, these are the things that can go wrong if you're using, you know, different strategies. Okay, now we'll continue back with the gameplay where I used the shell shock and was successful with dropping those bombs from the back of those zombies. Now, that's important because you don't want these zombies to explode, and if you get near them, they will if they're holding that bomb. After you have all four bombs dropped from those four zombies, I would recommend taking this path through the morgue and into this room, and then this will take you into the Pack-a-Punch. So another reason why you need them to not have the bombs is because you need to train them up because there's a really specific way that you need to kill them. And if they have bombs and you get close to them, yeah, it's over. These guys are dead and you're gonna be struggling for the next couple of rounds trying to get this worked out. I would never recommend taking those zombies like straight from the salt mine with the bombs on their back to the Pack-a-Punch area because too much stuff can go wrong. So once you're in the Pack-a-Punch with bombless bomber zombies, you want to train them up and make sure you have all four behind you and make sure you know you got an eye on them really clearly and there's no zombies in the way so you can see what's going on now you need to trigger that saw trap in that location right there and run these zombies back and forth in front of this battery up and down when you feel like they're all like four in this tunnel you can go over and hit that trap and then just keep running right here if you do it correctly, you're going to get the saws to kill two of them, to charge the battery, and then kill another two to charge the battery. So you need two charges 
to charge his battery. And it takes a minimum of two being killed at the same time. So again, a minimum of two of these bomber zombies to create one charge and you need two charges. And if you kill three of the zombies one time, then you're only gonna get one charge. You have to have two at the same time to get that charge. And that's what happened to me in one of my games. I you know, brought them all down there and I had four of them but only three of them died at one time. So I only got one charge off of them. I was left with one other bomber zombie and yeah, I killed him, no charge whatsoever. So I had to wait and try to get two more bomber zombies down here to get that charge. So now that you have this battery charge, you can bring it to this location here and just throw it down, finish the rest of the Easter egg. And to finish charging this, you need to get to the step that is the tower defense. And then right after that, you're gonna activate the right hand of God. And this is gonna be right before you start getting those batteries from the Zeppelin that's flying around in the village square. So just place the battery in that holder right there and then start the power transfer. You want to defend it. Once it's complete, you can pick up the upgraded Tesla part and take it over to the weapons machine in the main comms area. By this time, you're gonna have the Tesla gun built. And I think most people know how to do that by now. If you don't, there are in-game prompts that are pretty easy to follow. I just wanted to show you guys the steps to the actual upgrade process in this video. But once the weapon is ready to pick up and is upgraded, you can pick it up and it's gonna be the Reaper variant. Now, some people are complaining that this is one of the weaker variants of the four. And I mean, you know, the elemental effect is okay. I wasn't super impressed. I noticed that with one of the Brenner zombies or the Fireman zombies, it took six shots from this thing. And I think like two or three shots for the Whistling zombie. So, I mean, it's decent, but yeah, people don't really like this one very much out of all of them, which is probably good because it's the most difficult one to obtain. But I really hope this helped some of you guys out. And again, if you guys have better strategies, definitely comment down below. But for me, this definitely made it way more easier and guaranteed like things would not go wrong. And before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to It's Invalid. He helped so much with the strategy and also Honda Riders. I'll have their YouTube channels linked down in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video.